Today I talked about the National Turfgrass Evaluation Program we have here, a tall fescue evaluation of 116 different cultivars of tall fescue and low management practices, so they relieve about two pounds of nitrogen a year. And what we're doing is we're looking at them on for turf grass quality, uh, rating one to nine, nine being the best. We also look at disease instance with it, incidents. We look at leaf texture and leaf color. We try to find the best cultivars for quality that can be made. Some of them may be already commercially available. Some of them may be, they may be considered, breeders may be considering using them in the marketplace. So that's primarily what we talked about today and also the uses that we could use these cultivars in the industry. Well, turf type tall fescue along with the fine fescues are really often considered a low input grasses. So the plots that I have out there, even though they were planted in 2012, have not been irrigated since establishment. So they do very well in drought avoidance. They also do low input as far as fertility and they hold up pretty good under traffic. So Parks and Rec may look at these grasses at a higher mowing height in athletic fields if they're limited on, on their water and maybe their budget for nutrient practices. And homeowners can utilize them as well in areas where they might uh, have less input. So it's really kind of a low input grass. Some things you have to be concerned with though is they are prone to some diseases like brown patch disease that can be problematic, especially if you don't have a lot of air movement or shady environment. No, it's just exciting. Uh, you know, a lot of the research that we do here is, is focused on providing good quality turf and trying to reduce the amount of inputs uh, while providing that quality turf. And it's exciting to be here with faculty that are all kind of energetic in what they do. So yeah, it's good, good joy in it.